This project was inspired by um, something that I had done in 2002 where I was working with a, a group of youth uh, in conjunction with the OASIS Center. And it was based on a series of very simple exercises teaching youth about urban planning, architecture, design, and uh, I just saw the impact that that had on the youth in regards to opening up their minds to the power that they could have and, and also asking them what they wanted to see happen in the city. If you were going to make up a park, what kind of thing would you really love to go and do? And the hook that was underneath the hammock around. in the back of your mind, like, what is the coolest, funnest thing that I want in this place? I like it because I get a chance to design the neighborhood the way I want it. It's just not the other people's way. It's my way. So what if you have this as a street? Yeah, and then you have, like, this roundabout, right? The interstate is such a barrier here because you have new roads, Bike lanes. Streets. We're going to streets. We're going to bike lanes. Like and a room on the street. Yeah. Parking lot. Parking lot. We're We have the movie theater and then the aquarium. So we have like some space in the middle. And movie theater. Food My group came up with like some awesome stuff to put. And like they priest. Their presentation was very good. I like what they put because they had like black history, uh, black history and art programs. And like it was very awesome. We tend to think that we come from all these different backgrounds and that we may be very different people, but um, when it boils down, we all want a place that's safe to live with a, a good neighborhood of, of friendly people around. We want to be able to get to schools and parks and and churches and stores easily without a lot of barriers and uh, there's a lot of just simple truths no matter where you're from, what your background is, um, that we all need to be remembering that these components are critical to our city design. Today we're going to zoom in really close and look at a park scale. So this is a picture of the site. Right Here's the Oasis Center right there. Here's the park, long the thing, and here's Charlotte. Wow. Um, each group is going to design what they think this park should look like. You're going to come up with activities, you're going to come up with different elements, like trees and benches and shelters, and you're going to draw those out on the on your maps. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about so, that. Let's just think about more of the stuff you might want. We need to have like inventory. My idea was to uh, plant flowers in the shape of uh, the name of the park. Mm -hmm. We have boulders where you can climb on logs, and we have a frog where you can go underneath it or above it, where it's a bridge and then you slide down into like the pipes, and the pipe shoots up water or shoots it down. There's concrete in the middle, like during uh, where you come in through the entrance, and there's a flower bed. You guys in this week have done what um, graduate students usually take one semester to learn how to do, which is move from a city scale level of thinking to park scale level of thinking. So I think we should give you guys a big round of applause. I love everybody. And we're going to have to make a reunion. We love you. Whoa. I ain't gonna see it. No. I had so much fun. Thank you guys for encouraging us and instilling things in us. So we really thank you. I look forward to seeing this next year. Time out. Don't nobody take a picture. Oh, snap. Let me out.